Alright, let's solve this one together. Um, again, with most of the questions that you'll encounter some math, you have options on how to deal with this. You can either uh, get the LCD for all three. I mean, if you have the LCD of 5, 10, and 6. Or you can just um, solve it individually. Let me show you what I mean by that. Now, here on the side, nato, let's solve it na gagawin mo na lahat in one blow. So, ibig sabihin, kukunin mo yung um, LCD or least common denominator ng 5, 10, at 6. Ang advice ko dyan, as always, would be to just get the biggest number of the 3, so that is 10. And then, i-multiply mo lang yung 10 ng paulit-ulit hanggang makuha mo yung mag-work for both of them. Now, sa 10, pasok na agad ang 5. So, ibig sabihin, ang pinaproblema mo lang ay 10 at 6. So, hindi pwede ang 20, so pupunta ka sa 30. So, yun yung magiging pinaka-least common denominator. The entire thing ngayon, i-convert mo siya ngayon sa over 30. Okay? So, 30 divided by 5, that would be 6. Times 3, 6, 12, 18. That would be yung first one. Plus, 10 times uh, 3 naman ang 30. So, 30 divided by 10 is 3. Times 9, that is 27. And then, you have minus, kasi kukapain mo lang yung sign na meron dito. Hindi yan magbabago. 6 divided, uh, uh, 3 divided by 6, which is 5. And then times 5, which is 25. And then, solve mo na siya ng diretsyo. So, dito sa 27 at 25, ang may iwan naman dyan ay 2 lang. Okay? I like doing that kasi mas simple ito kesa yung mag-add ako nito. Kasi magkikerry ako. Same lang din naman ang kalalabasan. So, this will be, this side right here would be 2, 27 minus 25. And then, i-add ko lang siya sa 18. So, 18 plus 2 over 30 or... 20 over 30. At dahil pwede ko siyang i lowest terms, i-divide ko siya pareho sa 10. That would be 2 over 3. That is if you want to convert everything right away sa isa. Another option would be to, to solve this side first. And then kung ano yung nakalabasan nun, so solve mo dun sa kabila. Let me show you how to do that. So dito, 10 ang least common denominator. So that we would be over 10. And then you have your 3, um, which is going to be 10 divided by 5, 2 times 3. That is 6. And then plus, you have, again, 10. Wala na magbabago dyan. Kapareho naman siyang 10. This would be 9. So this would be equal to 15 over 10. Okay? Or, pwede mo na siya i-simplify. Kasi pareho silang divisible sa 5. Di-divide mo lang siya sa 5 pareho. Yan, para lang makita ninyo yung ginagawa ko. Divided by 5. So that would be 3 over 2. Okay? Tapos yung 3 over 2 ngayon, dyan mo ngayon i-minus yung 5 over 6. Tapos kukuha ka ngayon, again, same lang with kanina, anong LCD nila? At dahil pasok naman ang 2 sa 6, that would be 6. 6 divided by 2 is 3 times 3. That is 9. Okay? Minus 5 over 6. So, this will give you 4 over 6 na pwede mong i-lowest terms. Divide mo both sides by 2. So, that would be 2 over 3. Pareho lang din sila. Now, what do I advise that you do sa exam? Here's my advice. Kung maliliit na numbers ang pinag-uusapan mo, like this one, at madali mo makuha ang LCD nila, go straight for this kasi kung napapansin nyo, onti lang yung kailangan kong gawin. Hindi ko kailangan maghiwalay ng dalawa, mag-lowest uh, terms ng dalawang fractions. Mas, mas less complicated ito. When does this come in handy? 
I choose to do this kapag ang denominators mo sobrang lalaki. So, if you have 30 plus, 20 plus, 50 plus as your denominators, sometimes it's faster or easier to figure out yung isa-isahin mo yung bawat operation instead of finding a common um, denominator for all three. Bakit? Kasi kapag kunyari, ang numbers mo ay 23, kunyari lang to ha, 42, 54. It does take time for you to find yung least common denominator ng malalaking numbers. Kasi, paulit-ulit mo siya, i-multiply, i-divide, tas ang lalaki ng numbers. So, ma medyo komplikado talaga siya. In that case, mas, baka mas madali na isa-isahin mo siya. Pero kung ganito lang, pinag-uusapan, malilit na numbers, manageable, you can go straight to converting everything and then adding and subtracting like that. Now, I hope uh, you found this video helpful. If you want the full um, lessons dito sa fraction series natin, I'll link it here din sa video na ito. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the Facebook page for more free resources, especially if you're taking the exam or you just want to learn. So thanks guys for watching. Never stop learning. Adja, adja, kayan. I'll see you in my next video and bye for now. Thank you.